Hello Genesis, welcome to the next part in this Soroban series and till the end of this video you will know everything you need to multiply numbers like this lightning fast on a Soroban. One feedback that I am getting from you guys is that in the thumbnails I am saying that we are going to calculate in one second but in the actual video we are not doing it in one second so why is that? So I would first like you to point to this video. In this video you can see that guy is adding all those numbers in seconds and that is by practicing addition on this Soroban then going from this physical Soroban to a mental Soroban and calculating on that and with that you can calculate really fast and yes he is doing addition but in this video we are going to do multiplication and always remember multiplication is just repeated addition so yeah keep in mind that you will be lightning fast once you learn all the techniques then you practice on the Soroban and then if you practice enough you can go from this physical Soroban to a mental Soroban and with that you can calculate really really fast because always remember that this Soroban is just a way to store numbers. You are doing the calculations yourself but on a Soroban it's very easy to visualize and manipulate numbers and that is what the whole point of this series is. You first learn the Soroban then practice on it and then automatically you can go from a physical Soroban to a mental Soroban and that's how you are going to calculate lightning fast. So now let's learn multiplication on the Soroban. Now if you have seen the previous two videos in which I showed you how to represent numbers on a Soroban and then how to add those numbers and after that if you want you can watch the finger combos video then this video is going to be very easy for you because multiplication is just repeated addition. So the only thing that you need to learn in this video is the technique okay after that you are good to go okay so before actually trying to multiply numbers on Soroban first let's learn the theory of it now look at this what is this this is the basic multiplication that we learn in school and most of you know what are these axes some people write axes some directly write zeros these are there because on paper when we go from right to left we do this we are first multiplying two by 32 so we are getting 64 then we are multiplying 1 with 32 but it's not 1 it's 10 so 1 with 32 and then 1 0 there and in most of the schools they adopt this convention of writing those zeros as axes and in some schools they directly write zeros and then we simply add those two numbers 320 plus 64 to get the answer now instead of going from right to left we can also go from left to right then it will go like this we will first multiply 1 with 32 to get 320 2 with 32 to get 64 and then the answer this is how we mostly go in mental maths always from left to right because this is how our brain reads number and this is a lot faster while doing mental maths that's why we go from left to right and what we just did with this 32 times 12 thing right here that is exactly what we are going to do on a Soroban but if you try to do 32 times 12 mentally then you have to mentally save those numbers what we will do is we will mentally save those numbers on a Soroban and then simultaneously add them to get the answer that is pretty much all of it so now let's start first thing I would like to tell you is that we do not do one digit times one digit multiplication on a Soroban so to perform multiplication on a Soroban you need to know the times tables till 9 if you want you can do 1 times 1 multiplication on a Soroban but it's just addition see 4 times 2 is 8 you can do that on a Soroban like this 4 times 2 is just 4 plus 4 so 4 now to add 4 in this add 5 and subtract 1 so it's 8 so 1 times 1 multiplication is just repeated addition on a Soroban so it's better we just memorize it so next we will learn 2 digit times one digit multiplication on a Soroban. So firstly before doing any multiplication you will need to know how many roads it will take like you are going to go from left to right so you need to start from the leftmost road. So a two digit times one digit multiplication at max can go till three digits because see 99 times 9 is how much 891 so it's three digit. A two digit times two digit multiplication can go at max at four digits so it's simply basically the sum of all the digits like two digit times one digit will go till three digit two digit times two digit can go till four digits so just count the number of digits in the multiplication and then go to that road so now let's take an example 32 times 3 now just go to the third road because 32 has two digits and 3 is one digit so a total of three digit okay 
Now it's very simple. See, you first multiply three with three. Three times three is nine. Now, if after multiplying this one digit by one digit, you get a number which is a single digit, then on sort of one, what you do is zero and that digit. Now, suppose here it was three times four, so it was 12. Then you will do one, two, but it is three times three, which is nine. So you do zero, nine. Okay, so this is zero and nine, this. Okay, now you are on this road. Now in this whole process, whatever road you end up, you have to keep your finger on that road only. Now next multiply three times two, which is zero, six. Okay, so the answer is 96. 32 times three is simply 96. You can easily do this mentally. This was just an example to demonstrate on Sorban. So if after multiplying, you get a single digit, then zero, that digit that is the main thing that you need to take from here okay now let's do another example 44 times 6 go to the third road 6 times 4 24 2 4 be on this road 6 times 4 24 so now see it is 24 so you don't do 0 2 4 no you simply have to add 2 in this road. So see, we are simultaneously adding on the Soroban as well. This is one another advantage of Soroban. So to add 2 in this road, what you will do? Add 5 and subtract 3 and 4. So the final answer is 264. And this is how easily you can multiply on a Soroban. In this case, 6 times 4 was 24. So it was 2 digit. So you don't do that 0 thing here. Okay, so next let's learn two digit times two digit multiplication on a Soroban. Let's take an example 15 times 13. So you will go to the fourth road. Now in simply left to right method, what you will do, you will multiply this one with 15 and then this three with 15 and then add the numbers. That's what we will do here. So one times one, zero, one. Okay, be on this road. Then one times five, zero, 5. Okay, now stay on this road. Now, here comes a really important part. See, what we just did is 15 times 10. Okay, so 15 had two digits and 10 had two digits. So, we went to the fourth road. Now, we have done that. Next is 15 times 3. It has a total of three digits. So, from this zero road, you have to go to the third road. Okay, so now we have to move our finger from this road to this road. And this is simply happening like this is because see, first we are doing two digit times two digit multiplication, and then we are doing one digit times two digit multiplication. And when we were doing two digit times two digit multiplication, we are going to the fourth road. And due to the zero, you will end up in the second road. Now what you are going to do is you are going to do one digit time two digit. So you have to go to the third road. So which is just one adjacent road. If the upper digit was three digit, then it would have been one digit times three digit. Then you had to go to the fourth road, which is just the second adjacent one. So one road less, like if you are multiplying by a two digit number, shift by one road. If you are multiplying it by a three digit number, shift by two roads. Okay, now let's come back to this question. So just shift by one road. Now three times one is three. So zero, three. Now three times five is 15. So one, five. So the answer is 195. Now let's take another example, 48 times 27. So it's very simple. Go to the fourth road because a total of four digits. We are going to multiply this 48 with 27. Let's go like this. Four times two, eight, zero, eight. Okay. Now four times seven, seven times four is 28. Now here complements will come. You have to add two in this road, but you can't do it. So add 10 and subtract 8. So be in this road, okay? So 20 and 8, 5, 6, 7, 8. We just added 2 here and then 8, 28. And to do 2 here, we have to add 10 and subtract 8 in this. Don't confuse that 28, 8 with this, okay? Now we are on this road. Now this multiplication is over. Now to go to the next one, shift by one road. Now 8 times 2 is 16. So 1 in this road, and six in this road. Can you add six in this road? No. So add 10 and subtract four. To subtract four here, subtract five and add one. Now eight times seven, 56. 
which is the answer 48 times 27 is 1296. Now see if you practice more and somehow able to mentally visualize this soroban, you will just calculate and at that same time add those numbers as well to get the final answer and the final number will look like this in your head 1296 instead of 1296 like those numbers that we see. Okay, so next let's learn three digit times two digit multiplication. So 324 times 42. So what we are going to do is this three times 42, then two times 42 and then four times 42. So always we are going to shift by one road. First from this zero road, you go one, two, three, four, five because it's three digit times two digit. Okay, now three times four, 12. So one, two, 12, stay on this road. Now next three times two, six. So zero, six. Now we move on to the next multiplication. So shift by one road, two times four, eight. So zero, eight. Now we cannot add eight in this road. So add 10 and subtract two. Now to subtract two, subtract five and add three. Okay. Now next two times two, four. So zero, four. Now we are here. Now next one shift by one road. Now four times four is 16. Now to add one in this road, add five and subtract four. And to add six in this road, we can't do, here is only five. So add 10 and subtract four. Now next four times two, zero, eight. So five, six, seven, eight. Now the final answer is one, three, six, zero, eight. Now similar question, just the opposite of this. 44 times 324. So we will first multiply four with 324 then the next four with 324. So this time we will shift with two roads. Okay. So it's really simple. First go to the fifth road. One, two, three, four, five. Now four times three, 12. So one, two, 12. Now four times two, eight, zero, eight, five, six, seven, eight. Now four times four, 16. So one, 6, 16. So this was the first multiplication. Let's move on to the next one. Shift by two roads. 1, 2. Now again 4 times 3, 12. So 1. We can't add 2 in this. So add 10 and subtract 8. So 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have subtracted 8. Next 4 times 2, 8. So 0, 8 in this road. We can't do that. So add 10 and subtract 2. To subtract 2, subtract 5 add 3 in this road. Now next 4 times 4 which is 16. So to add 1 in this road add 5 and subtract 4 1 and to add 6 in this road add 5 add 1 so 6. So the final answer is 14256. So this time we shifted by 2 roads. Now with this you might have understood why we are shifting roads like this. Now basically you know everything you need to know to multiply on a soroban but finally let's do a 3 digit times three digit multiplication to see how it goes. Okay, so 632 times 278. Move to the sixth road. In this, you can multiply 278 by 632 or 632 by 278. In both the cases, you will shift by two roads. So let's do it this way first, 200 times 632. Six times two, 12. So one, two, 12. Next three times two is six, zero, six. Next two times four, zero, Four. Now shift by two roads. Next seven times six, 42. Now to add four in this road, add five and subtract one, 42, 42. Now next seven times three, 21. To add two in this road, you have to add 10 and subtract eight. Okay, 21. To add one in this road, add five, subtract four. Now you are on this road. Always remember to keep your finger on that road where you are making that operation. Okay, otherwise like if you mess up, you might shift wrong roads and then your answer would be completely wrong. Next is 7 times 2, 14. So 1, 4, 14. So now shift by two roads. Now 8 times 6, 48. 4 and 8. To add 8 in this road, we can't do anything. So we first need to add 10 in this road. So to add 10, you will do this and subtract 2. To subtract 2, subtract 5, add 3. Now next 8 times 3 is 24. To add 2 in this road, add 5 and subtract 3, 24. To add 4 in this road, add 5 and subtract 1. Now lastly, 8 times 2, 16. So 1, 6. So our answer is 1, 7, 5, 6, 9, 
six. So see, you just did a really long multiplication without pen and paper on a soroban. And if you practice this, you can do this mentally. So that would be really, really amazing. Now with this, you have completely learned how to do multiplication on a soroban. Congratulations. Just so that you know, this cool hoodie that I'm wearing is from Give Internet Thought Organization, which is a charitable organization. You can learn more about them from the description of this video. And lastly, I wanted to tell you that I have recently started an Instagram handle of Methogenius. So please follow me there as well. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.